waiting for nearly five years, the family of a war veteran who was shot and killed by Eugene police is getting their day in court. The family of Brian Babb, who had physical and mental health issues, is seeking seven and a half million dollars against the city of Eugene over what they believe was a wrongful death. KZI 9 News reporter Kennedy Dendy spoke to Babb's sister about what this trial means for the family. We lost a family member. And that means, you know, and, and the reason we're here is how we lost that family member. And that comes back to police accountability. Stephanie Babb, the sister of Afghanistan war veteran Brian Babb, is speaking out as the first day of trial is underway. It was in March of 2015 when police had gone to the home of Brian Babb to perform a welfare check. We don't forget. We have this every day. Bab's therapist was concerned about his behavior and asked police to go to the home and check on him. 911 was the address of the emergency. Um, I, I'm a therapist and I'm calling about a client who I have on another line on, on my regular um, landline at my office. He's got a nine millimeter gun. After police arrived, they say Bab pointed a rifle at one of them and then opened fire. The Lane County DA later ruled the death as justified, but the family does not agree. Stephanie said that Brian was not just any older brother. She shared one of her favorite memories with him and why family is so important to her. Brian was uh, funny and engaging and would take me hunting. Opening statements were made after the jury was selected. Reporting in Eugene, Kennedy Dendy, KZI 9 News.